Hi, my name is Kartik from Design School BWP Algorithm. In this video, we're going to discuss how to achieve page transitions using Elementor and Dynamic Content plugin for Elementor, such as this one. So watch what happens to my page. I'll just click on a menu item and you can see the page being animated and the transition being applied as the page is loaded. I'll click my home page again and you can see the loading wheel and you can see the animation. Well, the power of dynamic content plugin is really awesome and you can achieve any kind of animation. You can customize the type of animation that you want while switching between pages. Well, I'll show you how to do this. And this video is sponsored by the folks behind dynamic content plugin. A special shout out to them for sponsoring this video and making this content possible. Let's see how we can achieve page transitions using Elementor and dynamic content plugin built exclusively for Elementor. Well, to get started with the smooth page transitions, open up any page, post or even an Elementor template by clicking on edit with Elementor. Once you're in the Elementor screen, and by the way, this works with the latest version of Elementor. You don't have to worry about that. Just click on the hamburger menu and you see dynamic content for Elementor option. Just click on that and then you have an option to enable smooth transition. Just toggle this on. Now it will ask us to pick a CSS wrapper. Well, I'll explain what it is in a bit, but essentially whatever selector, it can be a class, it can be an ID, it can be anything, whatever thing that you put in here based on your theme structure, animation will be applied to that particular element. So basically, depending on your theme, you have to enter the class related to the element to be animated for that particular page. All of the pages will have a similar structure. So just enter that common class and the page transition can be applied. I'll explain what that means in a bit. So you just need to toggle this on. Now let's open up a page. We'll just actually click on view. We are actually viewing the page on the front end. And I'll also have one more tab active, which is appearance. I'll just click on themes. And right now my active theme is Astra. I also have generate press installed. And you can also use hello Elementor. But based on my testing, this particular selector works well with generate press and Astra. Haven't checked out ocean WP base. Maybe for that theme, you have to pinpoint the selector. So this is my home page and the active theme is Astra. The page itself is built using Elementor. As you can see, it's basically an Elementor template. Anyway, let's turn our attention to the page structure. I'll just right click. I'll just click on inspect. And we need to pick a selector to enter into the smooth transition field, right? So we need to see which is the class that covers the whole page. To put it simply, that's what we're looking for. So when I inspect the page, start from the body and right from the body, right from within the body, scroll down till you see something called content, right? So this is essentially where your whole content will be placed. And it turns out when I hover over the content or when I click on it, the whole page is selected. So the selector that we are looking for is dot site content. You can double click to copy the class name, command C or control C. I'll just minimize this. I'll just click on, I'll try to enable smooth transition. Since it's a class, I need to put dot and paste the class name. And as you can see, when I enter the class name along with the selector, it turns green and it says that this is the class that is really needed or it says that yes, this particular class exists on your site structure. So we'll just look into the animation settings in a bit. But right now what we're looking for is whether the smooth transition itself is enabled or not. So I'll just enter the class name. I'll just hit update. I'll click on page. I'll just reload this page just in case, just to make sure that the transition is applied. And just like that, the transition is being applied. You can see that. Now, if I click on another page, 
well the transition is applied to that page as well and if you have maybe a post or something if i click on that even to that particular post the transition is applied so essentially it takes the theme structure into account it takes that selector and applies animation or transition to that particular selector and in this case the selector is dot site hyphen content for astra theme you can simply put dot site hyphen content and this is the selector that you need to enter to enable smooth transition i'll just do one thing i'll remove this i'll disable the smooth transition just to confirm that we've disabled it i'll reload the page and just like that you don't see any animation so if i click on home you don't see any animation right now so we have disabled the animation and the smooth transition itself now i'll put a wrong selector so let's say i just put a wrong selector called but even this is a valid selector so i'll just put hash before site content since it's a class and not an id ids are denoted using this hash symbol but classes you need to enter dot before them this is a basic css thing we've been doing css on this channel for quite some time but yeah for astra theme it's dot site hyphen content now i'll do one thing i'll remove this i'll update and we'll actually switch the theme from astra to generate press i'll just click on activate you can see my generate press theme is active i'll reload this page itself which is opened in Elementor interface. Now I'll click on the hamburger menu, click on dynamic content for Elementor. Again, click on smooth transition. It's looking for the CSS selector. I'll reload my home page, wpdynamic.com. I'll just reload the page. And the page itself is not changed because it's built using Elementor. I'll just right click and inspect. Again, we'll start scanning our site. And you can see basically even this theme has a class of site content for the whole body page. So if you enter the same selector, which is dot site hyphen content into the smooth transition tab, it'll just work fine. And you can see that it says it's detected and the animation or transition will be applied. I'll update this. I'll click on WP Dynamic. I'll just reload this once. And just like that, the transition is applied. You can see, or you can click to view any other page. And just like that, the transition or the animation is applied. You can go to any post as well. So even with generate press theme, this particular selector works. If you're using any other theme than Astra or generate press, you need to find out which is the selector that is responsible for covering the entire page and you just need to enter that selector and if the selector is detected it will just give you this green little indication saying that this is the selector that you need to enter and this is the selector for animation and you can leave this out this is a bit technical you can just leave this out and you can basically customize the type of animation. So let's do a top animation and let's do a lean linear animation in. We'll also do top and we'll also do a linear for this. I'll update. I'll basically reload the this same page. We'll see. See that? Now the page slides in from the top and that animation is being applied. We'll click on any other page. Just like that, the page slides in from the top or the page content slides in from the top and the transition is applied. You can actually verify how this is all being done. I'll just right click on the element and I'll just go to the class where it says site content and I'll hit reload. This is the class that we're looking for. I'll just hit reload and you can see that there's an animation being added to the style tab or the style attribute of this particular class. And you can see all the animation details in here. 
so that's how this whole thing works this is basically based on css itself you can see that here and it's being animated all because of that class dynamic content plugin is applying whatever animation that you're having here it basically takes it converts it into css adds it to the page now you may see a loading wheel in the preview it's a bit buggy but on your actual page it looks perfectly fine you can also play with the animations you can maybe have a right for out transition and left for in transition so when you're clicking away from the page it is right and when the page or the new page is loaded it's left we'll try this out i'll just close this inspect tab now that you understood how this is being applied to the whole site content class i'll reload I'll reload again So you can see the animation in action and how the whole page or the whole content content of the page is being loaded and yeah just play with these effects and you can also have a loading wheel so for progress you can have this enabled we'll see if the loading wheel is being shown in here i'll reload And you can see the loading wheel in here. You can customize the various aspects of the loading wheel. So it basically shows you that the page is being animated. It just appears for a fraction of a second, as you can see, before the page is actually being loaded. Since my page load pretty fast, you may not actually see it. If your CDN is really fast, you may not or you may never see the loading wheel itself. That's a neat little way to have preloader as well. You can tweak it. You can have an image. You can have, you can have customize the size. You can customize the weight. And you can also decide on which type of devices you want this animation to be applied. You can also use an overlay before the page is being loaded. Maybe if you want to show your logo on top of everything, maybe you can just do that. We'll see how that looks like. I'll just click on home and you see the whole logo being shown on top of it see that it's kind of weird but basically that's what you want but it's really neat not to have this overlay because it looks kind of uh, odd so you can disable this and you can have a loading wheel with various options and for Astra and Generate Press, this is the selector that you're looking for. Now, I tried doing this for Hello Theme, but Hello Theme is a bare bone theme. I didn't have a good result with it. But anyway, we'll try it out now. I'll just activate Hello Theme. We have to reload this page. Every time you change this theme, you have to target that particular selector, which is common in all of the pages. You can inspect all of these pages while using Astro or Generate Press and dot site content or class site content will be present in each and every page, even if the page or post is built with Elementor itself. So that structure should be there. Since we changed our theme, I'll reload this whole page. I'll wait for it to be reload. Click on the hamburger menu, click on dynamic content. And right now, for, since it's hello theme, dot site content doesn't have any matches let's see if we can find any matches right now and try to pinpoint a class responsible for this whole thing and right below the body class you usually find this class and the class should actually target the content itself but not the whole page because we don't want to animate the whole page we want the header and footer to be intact but we just want the animation to be applied to the page itself or the content of the page itself that's how user can make out that it's an animation but not a full switch so and for hello theme i couldn't locate a single selector that is consistent across all the pages whether the page is built with elementor or whether the page is built using or created using gutenberg of hello theme itself hello theme is a basic bare minimum theme so i didn't find a selector I'll update you on this if I find a selector that you can target to apply smooth transitions. But if you're using hello 
sorry if you're using astra or generate press it's dot site hyphen content you put that in the dynamic content tab and simply change all the kinds of animations that you want and it just works and for other themes for other well structured themes such as gutenix or uh, it can be anything even for leaf they must be having a proper structure so you have to point out which is the structure which is common in all of the pages and you have to enter the class of that particular structure and these smooth transitions or page transitions will be applied and you don't need to write a single piece of code this all works automatically thanks to the folks behind dynamic content plugin for sponsoring this video and i'll catch you with another video of dynamic content plugin if you don't have dynamic content plugin or elementor pro check it out i'll try to list out or link to all those in the description i'll see you in the next one until then peace